Welcome everybody, my name is Kyla Mayho, and if you're just now tuning in here, this is what we do. We program some Java coding examples. Today we are going to do one called Even Digit Sum. And we're going to start off with reading the question. We're going to do a few example outputs and inputs. And then we are going to test it in the Umini tester. And let's get started. So, write a method named get even digit sum with one parameter of type int called number. The method should return the sum of the even digits within the number. If the number is negative, the method should return negative one to indicate an invalid value. And if we scroll down a little bit, we will see the input and output examples. Because there's only three here, I will be testing all three of them so you guys can see that. We have two notes here. One, to make sure that it's public static, like always. And then two, it is to not make sure that we don't copy over our new method from IntelliJ to the Udemy test. It's just the method that we're creating. Let's get coding. So, we're going to create a method called public static return type int. The name is get even digit sum, which is going to take in the parameter of int one. Now, I like to kind of organize it because we know that there's going to be an invalid option. We know there's going to be variables, and we know we're going to have to do calculations and output. So I just like to kind of write that so it'll have a nice place to go. Oh, it's doing that because I need two variables, calculations, and output. In this case, it'll most likely be a return type, but we'll see. Okay, so we know that if the number is negative, it should return negative one. So let's do that first. If number is less than zero, return negative one. Okay, now that we've handled the if it's negative, now let's handle it if it's positive. So, if you guys tune into my last video, um, which will be in the description below, it was the first and last digit. So, it, we're going to do a similar thing here. Um, it's just going to be a few slight differences. So, we are still going to have to get the last digit because... If we look at the examples here, like on the first one, but we'll scroll down a little bit. Okay, so if you see here, again, they have 252, right? And the only difference here is instead of the first digit, we want to add all the even digits together. So we're still going to have two variables. One, that's going to be the sum. And one, that is going to hold the last digit. Just like last time. Zero. Okay, now we have our two variables. Now, just like also in first and last digit, we are going to step through the whole entire number and only add together the even digits. So we're going to use a while loop again. You can also use different um, functions if you'd like. Go ahead and leave it in the comments below if you guys figure out a different way to do this. Or just know a, a, a different way. I know there's shortcuts, but we're just trying to keep it basic here. Beginner. I will later on do videos where I take these same examples and use more advanced coding methods to get the same output. So we're going to step through the number if the number is greater than zero. Oops, not less than. And what we're going to do here is the first we're going to do is we're going to get the last digit. The last digit, if you remember, it's just the number mod 10. That's going to give us the last digit of the number, which we know in this case is 2. And then, basically, we have to check and see if the number is even. If it's even, then we're going to add it. If not, then we're going to just ignore it. So if number is mod 2 equal equal 0. So all that basically means is that if the number is divisible by 2 and the remainder 
equals zero, then it's an even number. So if we know it's an even number, then we're going to do sum. And then we're going to add it to the current last digit. Okay, and then I'll leave it um, commented out, commented for you guys a little bit. So, and then after that, so basically what it's doing here is it's adding sum, which is zero, and then it's adding the last digit to give us a new um, number, but it's going to store it back into sum. And then we are going to continue to step through the number. Oops, did that all backwards. Number divided by 10 equals number. That's basically what that means. So it's right here. Number divided by 10 equals number. And again, all that means is just we are dividing number by 10 and then restoring the new value in the same variable. Okay, so now that we know if the number is even, we also have to handle it if the number is odd. This is going to be if the number is odd. So we know if the number is odd, we are not adding it to the sum. We'll check if number is odd. So the way we'll know if the number is odd is we really don't even have to check it because if it doesn't, if the remainder of the number mod 2 does not equal 0, then it's automatically going to come to the else statement. That's how if else statements work. So all we would want to do then is if the, odd, if the number is odd, we just want to skip it. And we want to still divide by 10. So that's what we're going to do. Divide by 10, and then we're just going to continue. And continue is just another one of those keywords that's going to keep um, the loop going even though there's an if-else statement within here. And then once it does that, all we wanted to do is output the sum. All right, now we're gonna test the outputs to see if we did it correctly. Okay, let's see here. So we're just gonna do int sum equals zero because we have to have a variable that's going to um, store the sum and then we are going to print out the sum here sum equals get even some digits and this time unlike the other one I'm not going to um, declare the number individually we're just going to put it in the parameters method and then we're going to print out the sum number, sum, sum of evens. Okay. Now let's see if it works. Fingers crossed. <laughs> this work will take forever. But I feel like it's going to work. And it does. Yeah! Go ahead and leave a like down there just for working IntelliJ, you know. Or did you doubt us? Leave that in the comments below as well. So now we're going to try the negative number, which is negative 22. Dun, 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 dun. All right, we got negative one there too. We are on a roll here, people. Okay, now let's try the longer number, and then we are going to test it in the tester. It is the real test. Three times a charm. Yup, 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 yup. So we got them all right. So now let's see if we're going to go for the big, big win here, which is getting it right in the tester. Don't forget to leave a like if we get it right in the first go. And I want to thank you guys for getting this far in the video. If you guys learned anything new, please let me know in the comments below. If you guys liked anything, please let me know in the comments below as well. And yes, we got it in the first try. So again, I want to thank you guys for watching. 
I want you guys to remember that coding's hard and it takes a lot of practice, but once we get it, it'll all be worth it in the end, just like anything you do. And just remember to have a great day and code you guys next time. Bye.